Frances Fisher joins NCI as star as pair honor late friend Sam Rubin. Frances and Polly Perrette both attended a celebration of life in Hollywood. Frances Fisher joined Lisa Ann Walter, Loney Love, Diane Warren, and NCI star Polly Perrette on Friday at a celebration of life and legacy for the late KTLA correspondent Sam Rubin. Frances, Clint Eastwood's former partner, kept it casual in a pair of black pants and an oversized shirt, unbuttoned to reveal a black and white floral top. And the 72 year old accessorized with a straw hat for the evening of memories held at Musso and Frank Grill in Hollywood. Diane and Frances attend Sam Rubin's celebration of life and legacy at Musso, and Frank Polly, 55, was also in attendance, and she wore a black dress with loose cardigan over the top. The actress wore her multicolored hair up in a demure ponytail, and she was glowing as she recalled her own memories of Sam. The invitation-only private event allowed Sam's A-list friends to come together, where they raised a glass to toast the man who had been a fixture of Los Angeles morning television. Sam died at the age of 64 on May 10 after suffering a major heart attack at home. He was rushed to hospital but pronounced dead. He had won multiple Emmys and was a well-known face on red carpets, building special relationships with A-listers including Rita Wilson, Melanie Griffiths, Cheryl Lee Ralph, and Allison Hannigan all of whom were among those to pay tribute at the time. Polly had also recalled her own time spent with Sam, penning an emotional tribute that accompanied an old clip of theirs together on KTLA 5 News. We lost the amazing Sam Rubin today, she wrote. Sam has been the entertainment reporter at Akula 5 News at Kula underscore entertainment for decades. But just so, so much more than that. He was a friend and an excellent human. Having to do endless interviews in the entertainment industry was not a pleasant part of my job. But then there was Sam. Couldn't wait to see him on the red carpet or in an interview because he was real, he was fun, and he was a friend. KTLA anchor Frank Buckley announced Sam's death live on TV, breaking down in tears as he shared the news with viewers. Our hearts, as you can imagine, are broken. Quite simply, Sam was KTLA.